As we have seen in previous videos, in card view, each compound is represented by a card that can be moved and positioned as you wish. The default card shows the first columns of data in your data set, but by selecting Custom from the Design menu, you can choose the information that you want to display for each compound and the layout in which they are shown. In the Card Designer, you can resize the card by dragging its boundary. New properties can be added by dragging them from the list of available properties on the left side. Properties on the card can also be arranged by dragging them. To remove a property from the card, simply drag it off of the card in the designer. Text labels and dividers can also be easily added to the card. The properties of each field, such as font size and background color, can be changed by selecting one or more fields and clicking on the properties in the bottom left of the designer. You can also resize larger fields to give more room to important elements such as structures. Additional pages can be added to a card design containing further information. And you can switch between pages using the circles at the bottom of the card. One of the available options is to include a notes field you can edit individually for each card to annotate your compound. Card designs can be saved, loaded and shared with your colleagues. Once loaded, they appear in the design menu to enable easy selection. Clicking on the data displayed on cards can show additional information. For example, Clicking on a scoring profile will show a heat map of the contributions of each property to the overall score. Also, clicking on a predicted property will show the glowing molecule for that property on each card to highlight important SAR. Finally, you can color cards by any property in your dataset to highlight interesting compounds simply by clicking on the color palette. In the next video, we'll see how cards can be grouped into stacks that show an overview of key properties of the compounds in the stack.